how to run correlation using SPSS and interpret the results. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to run correlation, be it experiment or person correlation, and interpret the results. And what is the difference between the two? So we have this data here. We have motivation and achievement, as you can see in the data view, in the variable view. And we want to see whether or not there is any statistically significant positive, negative, or no correlation between the two variables in this data set. So we don't know whether we are going to run uh, ordinary correlation or person or sperman, that is parametric correlation or non-parametric correlation. So what we can do is that instead of testing the normality and other assumptions, we can do what we call sensitivity analysis by running all the types of correlation and comparing the results. So instead of wasting time on running normality, etc., we can straightforwardly go to analyze, correlate, bivariate, and then we are going to move the two variables in this box and we are going to choose person co correlation, candles, tau B correlations, permanent correlation, and we can even have some descriptive statistics like means and standard deviations at the same time. Click continue, click OK, and here are the results as you can see. And there is a statistically significant positive correlation that is perfect correlation depending on this coefficient. And that is statistically significant. As you can see, the p-value here is below 0.001 which means that we can generalize the uh, findings from the sample to the whole population. This is for the parametric correlation, that is person, so you can remember person as parametric, and non-parametric, that is Kendall's tau or Spearman's correlation, as you can see. So the two uh, or the three tests show the same results, and this is how we can go about the uh, interpretation and reporting of correlation. So we can just uh, right-click, copy, and then paste the person correlation in this uh, heading and we can paste the other types of correlation on the on the other uh, heading and then this is how they will look like so we can just add tables numbers and then write brief uh, interpretation or we can use AI to generate interpretations as well so if you like the video uh, kindly subscribe and if you have questions or remarks you can post them below or contact me via one of my social media platforms. Tell another tutorial. See you soon.